So hey guys it's me Anitron here again with the new video and in this video I'm not going to suggest you any anime but instead I will suggest you some manhwas because as you know solo leveling has already ended and so many people out there are searching something similar to real life solo leveling where MC has a system to help him level up and for that reason I'm making this video where I will tell you 6 best manhwas with similar theme of dungeons and hunters plus where MC has a system that help him level up so if you want to know about this manhwas then don't skip the video watch till the end so without wasting any more time let's get into the video on number 5 we have Solo Max Level Newbie it's an action fantasy game manhwa and the story is our protagonist Jinyuk is a gaming YouTuber basically a YouTuber they just changed over YouTube to YouTube but he was the only person who saw the ending of the game Tower of Trials however when game's popularity declined it became difficult for him to continue making living as a gaming YouTuber since he already saw the ending of the game he was about to quit playing but one day suddenly that game Tower of Trials became reality and Jinyuk who knew every single thing in the game decided to took over everything faster than anyone possibly could he will become strongest player in the world using his knowledge he will monopolize rare artifacts items and rare skills and he will become so op that no one can stop him well like solo leveling it has leveling up system but he's not the only one player because every single human on earth become players but since he has knowledge he will use it as his advantage to become so op that no one can stop him so if you are a fan of overpowered protagonist give it a try so with this let's move on to the next one on number four we have player who can't level up and it's an action fantasy adventure manhwa and in this story towers and gates already emerged on earth they are similar to dungeons and humans get awakened as a player they got system with the help of system they can level up by killing monsters and with that world itself become a big game but even in this game world there is one player who can't level up and it's our protagonist he awakened as a player at the age of 18 but even after five years he's still level one because of some unknown reasons even after trying so hard and killing monster for five years he can't level up but one day he get himself in a dangerous gate and after barely surviving he gets an artifact and with the help of artifact he can become stronger but he can't level up so this is the story of world's strongest level one player so it's a zero to hero story not like that previous manhwa he's not that overpowered in the start he will become strong in the future so if you are interested give it a try so with that let's move on to the next one on number three we have the return of the disaster class hero and the interesting thing is that this manhwa was produced or you could say made by the same studio and the same team that worked on solo leveling so the art is top notch and the story is one day suddenly monsters and dungeons started to appear on earth and humanity was in chaos however with the appearance of the dungeons and monsters 13 hero also appeared on earth but only 12 of them was blessed by the gods but the 13th hero and the protagonist of the series was not blessed by any god he was on his own but he was the strongest of them but turning a raid on a dungeon he was betrayed by one of his companions who backstabbed him and threw him into the pit full of monsters everyone thought he was dead but after 20 years he managed to come back on earth however most of the things have changed the 12 heroes who used to be his companions are big shots now but that doesn't matter because he wants to find the one who betrayed betrayed him and take his revenge so this is your typical betrayed revenge story with overpowered protagonist and i'm not saying the story is bad is decent but the fact that the same team as solo leveling was working on this manhwa is enough reason to read this because you know the art is gonna be awesome so just give it a try so with this let's move on to the number two where we have the beginning after the end and this is an action fantasy reincarnation adventure manhwa and this is the story of king Ray who had unrivaled strength wealth and prestige in a world governed by martial ability however solitude lingers close behind us with great power beneath the glamorous exterior of the powerful king lurks the shell of a man devoid of a purpose and will living the life of a king he died but to his surprise he got reincarnated as arthur levin son of s rank adventurers in the world of magic and monsters in a body of a child there is a consciousness of an adult with his past memories and knowledge he adapted to this new world very quickly and learned things like magic and swordsmanship in early age with the help of his parents he's become strong in this new world he got new family makes new friend and you can say he got even girlfriend but underneath the peace and prosperity of this new world is an undercurrent threatening to destroy everything he has worked for questioning his role and reason for being reborn will he able to find the reasons and able to protect his family and friends well that's for you to know and one more interesting thing is that the first arc of this manhwa was very similar to Mushiko Tensei but of course Arthur is not pervert like Rudy and also this manhwa was not like other manhwa that I have mentioned in the video because there is no system that will help him to level up but the story of this manhwa was really great and world building and character development was also good and the art is cherry on the top so i don't see any reason to not include this in the video however leaving that aside let's move on to the last and the number one manhwa of the list omniscient readers viewpoint it's an action fantasy mystery drama manhwa and the reason why this manhwa is on the top of the list it's because of its somewhat different and interesting story it's not like this typical manhwas web novel and mangas where i'm say reincarnated or isekai in his favorite novel because that's exactly opposite in this manhwa kim dogja the protagonist 
of the series was an average office worker whose sole interest was reading his favorite web novel three ways to survive in ruined world but when the novel suddenly become reality he is the only person who knows how the world will end armed with this realization dogja uses his knowledge and understanding to change the course of the story and the world as he knows it will he succeed because there is also the original protagonist of that novel and he is really strong and also regressor so he almost knew everything about the story but kim dogja is also the reader of the original novel so he also knows the story and how it's gonna end so what will happen when they meet who will become the protagonist of the series it's for you to know so give it a try so this was the last manhwa of the video and i hope you guys have found one manhwa that you want to read so if you like my recommendation leave a like don't forget to subscribe for more videos so let's meet in the next interesting video until then sayonara